This is Twit. This episode of Tech Break is brought to you by ACI Learning. ACI Learning provides world-class service from beginning to end of your training journey and beyond. Fortify your expertise with access to self-paced IT training videos, interactive practice labs, and certification practice tests. Individuals use the code TWIT30 for 30% off a standard or premium individual IT pro membership at go.acilearning.com slash twit. You know, the way that we teach things changes over time as we learn new methods of teaching and uh, what may have been the way that you learned how to do math is not the same way that uh, your kid is learning how to do math. And I, I have heard from a number of parents who are going, I, I need to help my kid with this and I don't remember how any of it works. And so I'm having to do all this research to uh, remember how to do these different algebraic equations and this and that and the other. And so luckily, there are some apps out there that can help you with the process. Um, one of those is a completely free app from Microsoft called Microsoft Math Solver. And Microsoft Math Solver is uh, an app that's going to help you be able to uh, solve math problems, but also help you kind of figure out how they, how, how a math problem, you know, works. So let's do something simple. Um, and whenever you open the app, you'll have three different options. You can scan where you, if you have a worksheet or something like that, you can scan from the worksheet, you can draw, uh, right on the screen. And so I could, uh, you know, put in what I'll do here is six Y, um, plus 15 equals 45. And then uh, I will hit the send button to see uh, what the result is. So now it says, um, first of all, solve for y, y equals five. But then what it'll do is give you the steps that you need to do to actually solve the problem. So to uh, figure out six y plus 15 equals 45, first you subtract 15 from both sides. Then you subtract 15 from 45 to get 30. And then you divide both sides by six and when you divide 30 by 6 to get 5, then you have your answer. What's great is that it will also show you similar problems, so you can do a quiz to try to solve them. Um, it has some videos for kind of basic linear equations from Khan Academy for solving linear equations. And then, uh, of course, also co uh, concepts, so you can just kind of learn about the linear equation in general. Um, now, what I love about this, though, is I could, and I've got... Um, a whiteboard here and you know if this was a worksheet from a teacher for example um, so that the text was even easier to read let's do um, 9 y uh, plus 15 equals 60 and then I could use the app to uh, take a photo of this and so I'll take that photo and then it's going to scan it and it's going to determine that I did write 9y plus 15 equals 60. Uh, I know y equals 5 and then once again we can do the thing. Now what we can do here is we can kind of work out the problem uh, as we're going and so then I know 9y equals 45 and then I know I need to divide um, uh, both sides by nine so that y equals 45 over nine, um, which of course in the end equals five. And so I'm able to, uh, you know, this, this of course, actually completing the problem yourself will start to kind of bring that back. So for parents who are trying to remember how to solve linear equations, or of course, even more complicated equations, you know, quadratic functions and whatnot, um, will be able to do so uh, with either complete help from the app or, you know, with just some kind of jogging of your uh, memory with the app. Now, there will be some folks who will look at that and kind of poo-poo it as this um, way to, quote-unquote, cheat. But I, my math teacher was a fantastic math teacher. And um, it used to be that, or it, it may still be the case, that in the back of the math textbook, um, the answer for every either odd 
um, question or every even question would be available. Um, I ended up being in a math uh, class that was pretty high level. And so every answer was in the back of the book. And the point was not that you would just go and you know get the answer in the back of the book. No, my teacher, the way that our homework was graded was she'd go around to each person and she'd look at the worksheet and she would see your work. And if you had done your work, then she would give you a score out of X amount of points. And so only if you showed your work, could you actually get the points. And so the this is it's about practice and it's about understanding the mm-hmm. concepts. And so the idea that, you know, the student is just going to use this to cheat. Yes, that's completely possible. But the point is to not just because if, if, if the alternative is for them to just sit there not knowing anything or to have something that can help them figure it out, you want to give them something that's going to help them figure it out. Otherwise, they're not going to learn. So I really uh, like Microsoft Math Solver. Um, it can get even more involved, as I mentioned. Um, so let me see here. Uh, if I tap on the hamburger menu, I can see some different examples. So uh, fractions, rational equations, radical equations, radical, um, logarithmic equations. Here's a nice quadratic equation. Um, and it explains how to solve this. Uh, so you can either use factoring, you can do factoring by grouping, you can use the quadratic formula, um, all of that. So all equations of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero can be solved using the quadratic formula, which holy moly, is this a blast from the past. Um, it gives two solutions, one when uh, when plus minus is addition and one when it is subtraction. Um, Yeah, wow, I don't remember this, but (laughs) uh, there you can see the solution with it actually graphed um, on uh, on a graph. So super cool uh, app and full, like chock full of so much information that um, I kind of wish I had back when I was taking... uh, math in high school, or maths, as some are wont to call it. Uh, Rosemary, you mentioned two other apps. Uh, Tell us about those. Yeah, so another app that I'm going to mention is very similar to Microsoft Math Silver. It just um, handles things slightly differently. It's PhotoMath. And PhotoMath, believe it or not, allows you to take photos of maths and then will help you solve it much the same way Microsoft Math Silver does. So I wrote an equation here on my iPad. Um, it's E equals MC squared. And I'm taking a picture of it uh, using uh, PhotoMath. And then it's giving me the option to solve this equation. Um, And so it's giving solve for C considering restrictions, but there's also the option to solve for M considering restrictions, solve for C or just solve for M. Um, And then it will show me the solving steps on each of those. Um, So as well as, you know, taking a picture of something, uh, there's a calculator option so that I can just type in a problem. Um, And there's, you know, all of the various kinds of symbols and options that you would most likely need here, including just a standard you know, alphabetical keyboard um, and um, your recent actions. There's also the option to uh, load from photos. So if you have an equation in your photos, you can do that. And then, of course, I can see my history. Now, I checked, of course, that this was going to work right before Um, I did it. So you can see that I've got the same equation in there twice. But if you had something before um, that you've uh, solved with this and then you you wanted to go back to it, then you can even bookmark those things, which is really nice, and retap on that to get more. Now, what this also has is it's got textbooks built in um, uh, or textbooks available so that it can actually link you to the various different textbooks and, um, and, and learn so you can essentially learn more. Um, and there is an option for PhotoMath Plus. Now, PhotoMath Plus is kind of pricey. You do get a free week, um, but after that, it's about $10 a month um, or $60 a year. Um, I would not get six months because it's $50. So why wouldn't I pay? It, it's it's less than it's less than $10 to get the whole year in comparison. So I would always I would definitely go for the year. Um, but you should try the free option um, and see if that is going to be helpful uh, for you at all. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention, it's a service, it's an app. There's a whole bunch of things all from Alpha. It's great, not just for maths, but for science things in general and scientific and technical things uh, for explaining, uh, you know, how things can be solved um, or why 
you know, this is like this and and so on. Um, so Wolfram Alpha, it's there is an app, um, but there is also a website which can explain uh, a whole bunch of things. And uh, it's well worth checking out if you are doing anything involving learning, really. Just go and have a look. It may well have something that can give you a hand at some point. And there's a whole bunch of data in there. 